Welcome everybody to episode two, while we build the Nordic inspired boat hall house. It doesn't have a very good ring to it, but that's what it is, so deal with it. Yeah. So this episode, we're going to take a crack at the interior and exterior. Hopefully get it finished. Might have to take a third one to... I don't know. We're tackling a lot in this episode. So I've already gone ahead and, and replaced the floor with wood. I've created the second floor. And we're pretty much free to do whatever we want here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is give this floor the treatment that these walls get and make it look all grungy kind of so i have a few ideas here oops dirty yeah let's just get coarse dirt along with some jungle wood and i have very good reason for this this is gonna make it look like we have a grungy nasty floor because if you live anywhere with lots of snow you know that lots of snow means lots of of mud and slush and dirty feet and mothers you you all know this so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make it a little bit dirtier on places with high traffic which would be near the door mostly so let's put in some dirt as well just a little bit doesn't need to be a lot and that'll just make it look like to me like there's dirt that's found its way into the into the fine grains of the wood and it's just just kind of nasty and dirty right now right and then we're also gonna have a fireplace here so let's uh let's actually put extra efforts into making it dirty near that because i imagine people would be huddled around the fireplace and that's where it's gonna go up here we need to grab slabs so let's grab the jungle slab and I'm gonna replace these. I was thinking to myself what the major features of a room layout are. And that's kind of where you should start when you're making this stuff. And the most important thing I thought was the stairs. You have to know where the stair placement is before you put anything else. So I went ahead and put the stairs. And then I'm also, can I not, oh, oh, where did that go? Oh no, let's actually break that just for now and put it back. And Get out of there. So that's our little railing there. We have a railing there. And that's how we get upstairs. So the top floor of this could probably act as an inn, right? So I've put up some walls here where I want some rooms to go. I've found room for three rooms, as you can see. We're not gonna put the walls up completely. Let's put down the beds and kind of get an idea of what really we have to work with. So I imagine a bed would go there. If you were in this one, you could have a bed right, no, right, not right there, right there, and then more storage over there. You could, this kind of, uh, this should probably be storage, probably because you can't go into it, and that's a little storage space too. So then we got another one right there, and now actually I am going to put up the walls. Well, of course I couldn't keep that layout because I failed to notice that the door is right here. And that w that wall was right here. It would have been blocking that door. So I had to change everything so that all the walls were along here. And that opened up some new opportunity for me. I noticed that we had a lot of room up here. So there's like a loft area. We could even tear down this entire entire wall here and have it completely open. Or maybe we have, oops, trap doors, a railing, right? I know I go, I go a little overboard on these. I think I'm not sure if if people think I use them too much, but uh, this way you know that there's a loft up there at least. And this is just storage, so let's just go crazy with the uh, chests. Um, can you guys? Yeah. We'll put some, thing, some things there, and... Oh, oh, I can't place anything there because of that. Oh, that makes sense. That's unfortunate. Let's put some more crates here, everywhere. It doesn't really matter where. Things can be a little cluttered, even. Let's do something like that. That. Well, let's not hide that torch. Uh, that. Yeah, there's storage there. 
And that window, the window, attic window that we put is right here, so that worked out perfectly. There is another window over here, and I had to move it down because it was right here. So I just moved it down one block. It really didn't mess with anything, any layout. Uh, no issues at all, really. But let's go ahead and give this guy a little bit of a staircase. Let's do something like that, and then, yeah. And he can have a chest for his belongings and a red banner or something. Hey, our flag is red, white, and gray. I should probably find a red, white, and gray banner to use as if it were our thing. Let's get a, oh, what's it called? You'd think I would know what it's called after all this time. Armor stand, yeah. Let's get an armor stand in here. Maybe he's, uh, maybe it's just a regular coat rack to us, right? Doesn't need to be so heroic. It's just it's just a, an inn. Not everybody has armor to put on stuff. Let's throw in some some crates here. Uh, let's change that one with a chest. This guy doesn't even have. Oh, there's someone here. Yeah, this guy really doesn't have much room. No torch. No window. This, this is the uh, the cheap inn. Uh, the cheap suite. Yay! There, there's some room for storage. That's pretty good. And I have some carpet on me, so let's. Let's throw in some green, I'm not sure why, but it's Christmas, it goes with the red, right? We can do carpet somewhere else too. Uh, you can have a little thing of carpet. Did I do this room? I have not done this room, so give everyone a chest, it's pretty standard. A um, coat rack thingy right there. Uh, yeah. See, a lot of this interior work, there's some guys who are really good with interior work. To me, I think half the work is the layout and then finding blocks that you want to place and it's kind of just like spam work maybe that's just me maybe i'm not doing it right maybe i don't have the right mindset i don't i don't know let's get a different color carpet for this guy what does he want he can go light gray this guy can go light gray and let's actually put it along the whole thing this is a nice one he's got full carpet in here so that's pretty much it for up here we we've got here to to replace some some things there we go we don't need that railing there because no one's going to be over there we can actually put a chest there another chest there i've more or less finished the bottom and i've made some few touches to the top as well let's go over it really quick actually i do have something ooh, ooh, ooh. there's some spots here where the wall is too thick can i take advantage of that anywhere not there, not there at all, but we can shove in, oh, where did it go? Uh, bookcase, right? Yeah, bookcase. Shove in some books into the wall there. Can I put one there? Yeah, it doesn't need to be. I mean, it needs to be a little. Does it make sense? Does it need to make sense? I mean, that's some weird bookcase right there. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, the changes I made up here. I had some, uh frames in here and some banners i threw a banner up there as well down here i made it like your typical inn this isn't so much a house as much as an inn or maybe a bar so here's like a desk at the front here's the three colors of the flag hanging behind there uh, this hook's supposed to be like a door stop even though the door swings that way <laughs> and then you know there's the fireplace there's chairs lots of places to sit um lots of storage really storage can spruce up and fill up a lot of space really well and it doesn't need to be like you don't need creative well i shouldn't say create not creative but you don't need some unique detail in every nook and cranny of every house because go around your house look at it's you don't have that like the normal house doesn't have that so and every house has a lot of storage that's normal so it all makes a little bit of sense. That, I don't like that. This isn't like a freaking library. Like, get that out of here. <laughs> but I do like this window here. And then we have another window over. Oh, we should have made more windows. But I'd have to dig into the hall. We could still think about that. But anyways, now we're, we've got the outside to worry about. Now that the inside is all finished up. 
First step whenever I do something like this, especially in creative, if I were in survival, I'd probably build the things and then the paths, but in creative, it's so easy just to map everything out with roads and figure out what kind of space that you want to work with. So right here, I could do anything right here, and I just kind of have two paths, or one path that loops from one door to the other, and then it loops around this, or it's starting to loop around this, and this is going to be a fire pit i think so i've set the fire down in two blocks actually like way down like this is a deep fire pit so you'd be sitting up here and the heat would be rising and then i've removed snow and put a lot of dirt and grass around it because the fire would be melting all this right and and since i'm on survival it's not going to actually melt it right but let's try something like oh there goes that path block that i had placed what if I do something like this and place a grate over it for cooking on? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's put that back. Something like this. Ah, I don't really like that. It's just, this grate is way too white to be over a fireplace, but I don't mind the stone in there. Let's try some slabs just to... Rocks always end up in fireplaces, <laughs> let's be honest. They always end up in fireplaces. Oh, I just it just occurred to me that all this dirt is going to need to be coarse dirt because spread is turned on. Benches in place, and here's a little detail for you. I wanted to add a flag around here, something more vertical because it's very flat out here, and we'll work on that. Something more vertical, but I didn't want to make uh, just another giant flag, so I, I just did this kind of thing where... You know, it looks like there's kind of a flag draped over it, which is pretty different than your traditional flag, something draped over something, but it's a cool concept to think about. I've thrown in a pretty basic horse stable here. I've, I've done this horse stable before. This is nothing new. This is for my Let's Build, or a similar design at least, and I don't actually have the ability to put horses in it on the server, so meh. But on the back side, I made a really flat wall with the intent of filling that space with something. So I made kind of an ugly surface and then filled it up with a bunch of hay. So so if somebody stayed to, or come to stay at this at this inn here, they can, you know, keep as many horses as or they can feed as many horses as they need to and then pay attention. There's a roof here, so I actually added grass here because maybe the snow's not reaching that area but then so let's let's just say these are three major features of this build well it's still pretty boring out here we've got to round it out with something so there's gonna be a road cover from this to somewhere maybe we can add in a main road too and we could also add elevation and whatnot but something that I love to do and would be even better here those of you that watch my let's build have seen me to do 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 have you have not <laughs> have seen me do walls so let's get a few stone a few stone ingredients ready and then and it'll be extra cool here for a specific reason which is this is what i'm looking for you can have snow drifts up against these walls right that's pretty cool so normally what I would do is put leaves against them, or I do something like, um, let's put one right here and make it really organic shaped, right? Just something like that. And actually, let's set it back a little bit. Let's get, I, I've got ideas coming to me for this. So something like that. And then we throw in different, different kinds of materials. Let's get some cobble in there right there and then we switch vary the height on it and and there's there's really not much method keep it keep it fairly random and whatnot and then and then change up the heights stuff like this like that so that's more or less what I do I, I could sit here tweaking this little wall for a while but Let's just say that wind comes into this, the, the boat hull in from this direction and all this snow is piling up against, we can even add it on top, is piling up against this wall and this wall is sitting here just preventing that snow from getting there. So let's just 
piled up for a moment here. I realize that it does get over over this spot right here, so maybe we can reflect that. It, it kind of trails over right there. And that looks pretty good to me. And then on the other side of it, we can show that it's actually doing something by adding some, some grass here, like this. And of course, that's not super realistic because snow would still get on the other side of that, right? Snow usually comes pretty straight down. Maybe, maybe it's really windy here. But there, you can definitely tell. I think if somebody just randomly came by, they could tell that that is doing work keeping that snow back. But that adds a lot of interest right there, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a whole new new detail, new function. You know, I, I don't need to come up with something like another building, a shack or something. I can just add a wall, and that's all it needs to be. And we can do something like that around this pit. Same exact idea. Important thing to notice, the direction of wind. I had the flag and the smoke going in a completely different direction that the snow was coming from. The snow was, looks like it's coming from uh, this direction and or going towards this direction to this direction. So I have my flag and my smoke uh, to show that a little bit more. I pulled this road over here a little bit I actually want to add more coarse dirt over here. Keeping the snow drifts in mind, let's pile it up a little bit from this direction. The snow would definitely build up against buildings. I don't know about you guys, but I lived in in North Dakota for a good while, like all the while that I grew up. And I remember my school would always, uh, by the end of the winter, or in the middle of the winter, it would have a snow drift up and all the way over the classroom windows like the classroom you couldn't see out the windows because it'd be covered in snow so to say that would be up that high is not even an exaggeration it would probably be up higher to be honest because i remember those windows were were like off the ground to begin with all right i'm for the most part have this plot all finished up i actually it's actually been a few days i had to take quite a big break because i had finals and stuff you know how it goes and and anyway i went and finished this up i i had to think about so this isn't a plot right and normally i don't build in a plot and i didn't really want to do all these like landscaping and things up to the corners of the plot because realistically we're not you're not going to be doing that that much unless you're playing on another server with plots like this but normally in normal world you're not going to be making hills and stuff so i opted to just i'm i relocated this entire thing so it was closer to the sec center i think it's about in the center now and then i just kind of faded it away into grass and I kind of like how that looks. I ooh, I don't remember what all I talked about before I left. So uh, this is the final product. I did mess up this when I was moving everything with World Edit. I'm not sure what exactly it did look like, but this is what it looks like now. And I added grass underneath it, right? Because you'd have uh, you'd have cover right here. So grass. Makes sense to me. So let's just have a quick, oh yeah, this tree, I don't think that we talked about. I just went straight up and to the side in some places with wood. And then I literally took leaves and I flew around it like this while I spammed leaves. And I think it actually turned out pretty good for what it was. I had to go back and, you know, touch up here and there because there were spots that weren't full, full enough to me and whatnot. Real quick, let's just go over a quick uh, a tour of the place. So this is the main feature of the build. A hull of a boat used as a roof. I really like it. It would be tough to make a town out of this. It would be pretty exhausting. Because this was a pretty... It, I, it wouldn't be easy to make this uh, over and over. Let's go on the inside real quick. And... We have this little uh, uh, desk, like receptionist desk right here. Some flags back here. These are the flags of this area that I settled with. And then I really just, I, I used a lot of crates, which again, part of the texture pack. A lot of these chairs. 
and just kind of filled it with lots of clutter. Probably not the best interior that you'll ever see. You know, all the bedrooms up here are, you know, hidden chests there, um, uh, bed and carpet. It's pretty plain, but it's what you would expect, really, from an inn. You wouldn't get too many things, right? I mean, maybe you could add, like, a bathroom somewhere in here. And then there's a storage loft up here. And the interior came along pretty well. And then if you go this way, you come out on this little loft, which is one of my favorite features of this house. We have this little area up here because this was a pretty boring wall here. And, and this spruced up quite a bit. And then on the outside, I just kind of added pads everywhere. And I do need to fix... Looks like I need to fix this path. Looks like it got a little messed up while I was world editing around. And we'll just do one of these deals and throw in some cobblestone. There's really not much method to this. There, my path is back. You know, there's not much path here though. There we go. Yeah. And then I brought it this way towards a fire pit, which I think is a great addition pretty much anywhere if you need if you need to fill in some space outside of a house put a fire pit out there it just goes with just about everything i added this thing which is the colors of a flag it's like a draped flag not like a typical flag but i really like it it's an interesting idea good way to to add some color to the area then I added a horse's stable because people coming to this inn are probably going to have to put their horses somewhere. Lots of feed for the horses back here, which looks like when I moved everything. I did have the all the hay like this. I'm going to fix it really quick. Much better. I do enjoy that quite a bit. Have a little path coming back here. Just threw in some details into the pathways. There's some pressure plates, some buttons to look like stones. Really, if you want to make a nice detailed area, just focusing on one area like this, it's really a culmination of tricks and details that you just got to learn over time. So hopefully I taught you a few here. Hopefully you learned some new tricks and you, maybe this gave you some ideas or maybe you like enough to put in your own world. I really like this build. I might put in my own in my old Let's Build world, but who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Let's get a nice cinematic cinematic look here thank you for following along on this build everybody and i'll see you next on the next build which is in the pl in the planning stage right now it'll come out soon thank you for watching bye